Hey up everybody. Uh, I'm just moving on to another little project. I've just bought this Hurrit 1960s speedometer off for a cycle to put on my cycle. Uh, the speedo works okay, the drive works okay, it's just the, the inner cable that's snapped. Now I could probably look round and get an inner cable to suit this outer cable. I don't know how difficult that's going to be, I've not even tried. But before I do that, I'm going to try and repair the inner cable. The outer cable is fine on the part that fits onto the speedo. Everything's intact on the outer and the inner. Still got the collar on. It's just the other end that fits to the drive unit. So what's what's happened then? It's got strain on the end I think and it snapped the end of the cable off approximately 7mm from the end of the cable. So I've took the outer collar off, the outer cable, and I'm going to make a new outer collar for the outer cable a little bit longer so it covers this damaged area up to up to there somewhere and then either glue that on or crimp it on and then the inner cable what I'm going to do I've done this little bit of a drawer in here and make it a brass insert or adapter silver solder it on then put a square on the end to pick this drive unit up so watch this space and I'll show you how I get on with this right so I've been over on Myford and I've made this brass adapter to fit on the end of the inner cable exactly to that drawing a 1 8 hole 12 millimeter de deep I've left a 7 millimeter piece in the middle where the cable broke on the original and then I've put the 13 millimeter square well I've left 13 millimeter to put a square on the end I've cleaned the cable up and degreased it thoroughly and I'm going to do it again even before I solder it and I'm going to put the adapter onto the end of the cable and silver solder that adapter onto the end and the diameter of that is 530 seconds which allows it to be able to be pushed into the inner cable outer cable sorry to come out the other end This to be able to work properly, you're going to have to really degrease the inner cable, the old inner cable first, thoroughly. You don't want no traces of oil, then I'm just putting a, um, a silver solder flux on that's mixed with water to make it into a paste and putting plenty of flux on it. Just cleaned all the flux off and that's that's solid now that silver solder's got it 100, 100% so all I've got to do now I've either got to file a flat on the same as that end now this cable is 1 8 diameter and the flat the measurement across the flats is 0 0.103 thousandths so you could either file a file four flats on but I'm going to go over to my milling machine and just run milling cutter down it. This is the good end of the cable, which which you don't want any work done to it. That's going to thread into up to the original collar, 
and then now it's sticking out the other end look where it's where it originally broke off just needs plenty of grease in that so what I've got to do now then I've got to make an outer um, ferrule that's going where the damage bit is there where it got bent or kinked I want to come at least up to there I've got the square put onto the end of the brass now and I've been over on lathe and made this aluminium ferrule I've bought, I've drilled it out to the cable diameter then I've drilled uh, that's by 13 16 deep then I've drilled through to my brass extension diameter which is 5 30 seconds but I've put 11 64 in just to give it a bit of clearance turn the top down to the same diameter as that top where the nut fits onto down to 0.347 thousandths exactly the same as the other one so the nut will pull it on put your nut on first then I will eventually glue this ferrule on once I know everything fits ok and also I will grease the inner cable thoroughly before I finish off then uh, the speedo drive will go on to that square and then the clock will go on to this end Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you found that useful. Any subscribes and likes would be appreciated. So, I'll catch you on the next video then. Bye for now.